everybody, it's Pachi from Pachi Plays. Welcome to another episode of Bellie, you okay? Okay, another episode of the Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Last time we started off the game and we went to this place called Roadport. And also Peach is missing because you know yada yada yada. She found this map in a box and we have to search for these crystal things, treasure hunting crap. So yeah, and we also have to find this um, Goombella's professor so he can help us out. But first, we, let's explore this place. Let's go see what's over here first. Let's see. Freeze! You two, not another step! Don't come this way! Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose my, my a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move! You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? So, uh, yeah, if we move, of course, we'll step on them. But, you know what's weird? If you just jump... Oh, so we're already standing on them. Ah! Idiot! You stepped on it! My poor contact lens! I told you not to move! Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? Yeah, Mario, it totally wasn't you. This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're gonna pay for it. Come, pen, save me, Mr. Clumsy. No. <laughs> Fine, if that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. So yeah, we can't go here, but who cares, because it's for another part of the game. Anyways... So if we go in here, this is probably her house, and, okay. Anyways, let's go, I guess we, we can't do this, but wait, it's a shop! I bet we could buy a contact lens here. Hello, welcome, welcome to the Toad Bros Bazaar. Oh, what's that, you want a contact lens, you say? Hmm, wait just a moment. Ten out of ten, um, acting, talk, talking right there. Uh, goes to this game right there. Gee, Phil, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I can special order run right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? So we have to wait if we want to get our contact lens. Let's buy some stuff because we already have like we already have like a hundred coins, and he's gonna tell us about a bunch of crap. Anyways, so let's buy this. Five coins. I'll buy like three. Uh huh. And I'll buy uh, one of these. Okay. Let's go. All that other stuff is just special moves and stuff. It doesn't really matter. Okay, let's go over here now. So over here, we go around here to get this place to the west. It's literally just a door. We got this really gross, ugly house. And also, if we go behind this thing, we got a star piece. Star pieces are like things in this game. I have no idea what they do. But I, I, we're not going to be 100%ing this. We're just going to complete the game. So, yeah. I just know where some of them are. Anyways, so. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just that over there, nothing else. Anyways, so if we go over here, we have uh, this. There's absolutely nothing here. Uh, looks like the professor doesn't live back here. Oh well, let's go to the let's go to the west some more. So this is the inn. This is the this is the the one. Oh, I didn't even mean to talk to you, buddy. This is the place where you can restore your HP points, but I only lost one, so I don't really care. Hello. Did I really just say Toad? I meant Toadsworth. Where the heck did Goombella go? Whatever. Anyway, so if we. I don't really care about that right now, so, yeah. Um, so if we go out here, we get the badge store, but it's not open yet, so it must be, like, before 11 a.m. So, yeah. And also, I think there's another star. Yeah, there's another star. Let's go to the right now, because there's nothing important here. We have another save block, and also, we have a giant chest over there. That's important. We can get something important, but we can't get to it. So let's uh, go to the next place and stuff. So, oh. Uh, well, uh, that wasn't very nice of that guy. Oh, also, he just stole half of our coins, too. What in ass? 
let's get him back. So that guy wasn't very nice, but luckily since I am the cool kid on the block, I know his hiding place. Remember this house over here? Well, guess what? That's where he lives. So yeah. E oops. Uh, it's meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine! Give me my coins back. Give me the coins back. Shut up. I leave. I don't like you. So yeah, he gave us our coins back. Yeah, oh, I, don't, I, don't, I keep accidentally talking to people. Ugh. I can't the talk button be a different button. Anyways, so now let's actually explore this place. So in here we got this. Oh wait, actually, there's a secret over here. We can go over here and like talk to more people and stuff. And I think there's a little star piece over here. Okay. Anyways, so yeah, let's uh, here. Anyways, and here is a shine place we got this Merlin guy. I think his name is Merlin. Welcome to the home of Merlin. Blah blah blah. He'll give us. He'll uh. Gi he'll give us a uh, boosted attack power for our partners for th three shine sprites. But we don't have any. So yeah. And also there's a pipe over here, but we can't get to it. And also we got this guy. Whoa, whoa, hold up now. You're an outsider. Pass this coin. Pass this coin is a turf fish now. The head of the robos. It's ten points to pass through. And uh yeah. Um you can pay or you can fight him, but there's nothing over there, so there's like nothing important over there right now, so who cares? Anyways, there's only one more door to explore, so let's see. It's the professor! Oh, hi, there you are, Professor Frankly. Huzzah? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes, you. Yeah. I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it, just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence, I'll get it right. Oh, it's not you now. Mm, it's not Eliza Goom. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Aha, I've got it! You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes sir, that's me, I'm Goombella, Junior at you, Goom. Come on, Goombas! Of course I remember you, not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good on remembering. You, though, you stick out in my mind because you were such an eccentric so you. And that guy behind you is... Who? Mario, Professor, he's Mario, you know the famous one? Oh, my apologies, I'm such a bookworm, I haven't a clue about what is hip right now. <laughs> oh, man. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We're hoping you tell us about the legendary treasure sitting in the little rope for it. It's not that if anyone knew about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you, why do you types want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure really, truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I, can, however I can. First of all, about the treasure, there are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously it's impossible to do. To, to find the truth among them. Well, I agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. To find the treasure of your book is that the crystal stars that pass in your door. You mean the crystal stars in that old saying the super elderly people pass down? Indeed, the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you must first collect seven stars. Hold a magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand year door, then the stars will light the way to the stones, blah blah blah, yesterday crap. Yeah, a lot of the lore I've read says this, that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then I'll show you where to find the crystal stars. Correct, and the thousand year door is supposedly here to keep beneath the sky. At the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map is lost. If only we had that map. But we do have it, Professor, or, well, not me exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? Really? You? You actually have it? Could I just take a quick look at it? Yeah, here you go. Tell him I'm not gonna steal it. Astounding! This is it! The real thing! 
The one and only magical map. Yeah. You son of my hero. You're great, fantastic, wonderful even. With this, you can find the crystal stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door. Right on, Professor. Good going. What are we doing just in here then? Goopala, Mario. Off we go this instant. Let's take the magical map to the legendary door. Yeah, let's go. So now they're both following us, and uh, he's gonna show us where he is. Show where it is. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, didn't you? <laughs> so yeah, we actually can go in here. We can use this pipe to get down into the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. All right, then let's go. Oh wait, hang on a second, Mario. Something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so I'll keep your guard up. You do know about your X commands, don't you? Of course! I'm good! Shut up. Okay. No way to do crap. Alright, guys, let's go down! Here we go! Alright. So now we're down under everything. So, uh, yeah. Gotta save blocks. So we can either go left or right. So let's go left first. So, we got it. That, that crazy guy over here. And we got this place in here. Yeah, okay. I don't even know what that guy does. I don't even care. That's not important right now. Okay. Anyways, let's go this way, I guess. Oh wait, oh no, we gotta fight bad guys! Hey man, what's up? Who's the hottie you got there with you? Oh man, what's up baby? Why don't you hang out with us for a while? We'll play real nice. Man, what's a fine looking dude doing with a tubby mustache and man like that? Oof! Oh, it is like so sweet that you boys think I'm cute, seriously. Yeah, you guys, you make me like feel like totally barfing. Like, get out of our way. Ouch, that was cold. What, you're too good for us? Come off, sister. Nobody zings us like that. No, we love to get them. Oh no, I'm so scared. Anyways, so we got three different types of Gumbas. We got a normal Gumba, Spike Gumba, and a Hair Gumba. SHUT UP! Oh my gosh. The only one I should warn about is I fell in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Oh yeah, we can also press fly to change order and stuff. Anyways, so we can use jump and hammer for the first one, use only hammer for the second one, and use only jump for the third one. So yeah. Oh, also this is where we use our hands. What is this you can do? Okay, let's jump on this guy. Wee! Wee! Alright. Oh, he's already dead. Wow. Okay. So now Goombella is gonna attack. Her only attack is head bomb, so we're gonna choose this one because that would obviously hurt her. So yeah. So he lost his wings because he's dead, so now we only get this guy. Ow. Okay, that hurt. That was an emergency. Oh, 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 I think you can do stylish moves too by like like pressing a certain button, but I don't really know how to do those because I'm stupid. Owie! Yeah. Ha, uh -huh, later on losers, that felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more while they came from and they'll all have it in for us. When they attack, try to shut up! Anyways, so we go over here. We get this place we can't go across. So I guess we can only go in this pipe over here. And we have a magical floating platform that takes us right to it. So let's go. Alright, now we're over here, we got more guys to fight attack. So I struck first, so that means I get to jump on That was so hard. Ah, <sighs> yep. Oh, wait, what? Oh, we also got flower points. And coins, but flower points aren't important because we already have all that. Oh, oh, what? Oh, come on! Oh, he has a fire thing. Let's jump on him. I forgot to jump twice. Let's try this again. Boom. Oh, what? We didn't get the flower. 
That wasn't very nice. How dare you? Let's go down here, and we got, we got, here? We got mushroom, oh yeah, and then we got a flower thing, and then we gotta get this guy, you know, cause, alright, let's do this, oh, woo, that already, boy, we're so good at this, alright, alright, oh, he's dead already, he's like, we like had the exclamation mark. They really excellent fall in there. It had like exclamation mark above his head because I hit him so early on. Anyway, so we got a pipe and the chance to go this way. Let's see what's over here. Um, yeah, okay. Um, anyways, let's go inside here, going even deeper. So we got this pipe, this thing up here that we can't break. And we got that thing. Okay, hold on. We can't go in there. Oh, what? Really? Oh, yeah! Super dodged you. Get Rex. And. Dead. Alright. Okay. Get this. Oh, what? The end. Take that. Oh, that's how you do stylish moves. You just press the B button, okay. Oh crap, I wasn't prepared for that. That's it, you know, no, you know what? All right. Yeah. Doing good. Okay. Oh, and also there's a key up there for some reason, I don't know why. Anyways, so if we go here, there's nothing. So, oh, well, I guess the only thing we can do is... Yeah. Let's go up. Okay, you know Alright. Let's see what's in here. Oh, yeah, also, we yeah, have this thing over here that we can't do. Okay, let's go inside. Oh, there's a chest. That's cool. Hello. Whoa. Hey, you. Can you hear me? You can? That must mean you're the hero of the legend. Only the great hero of the legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everything, everyone else, nothing. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings you a hero like to you to a place like this? Er, Mario, a word with you I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this box. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the Christmas stars. Well, Drats, I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? Oh yeah, searching for the crystal stars. Are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely going to need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. So first you should look for the key to this box. Then you should let me out. Definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. Oh yeah, we've seen that key before. Come on, shut up. But... If you think it's really hard to get, no, we can just, yeah. So let's go up and, you know, like, he'll probably kill us, but I don't really care. <laughs> okay, let's see what he does. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, you brought the key, yes. Oh, man, I owe you big. Here we go, let's give it to him. Yes, thank you. Thank for nothing. We fools. Now we're gonna go into purple and black dots area. Oh boy, did you fall for the eye burn? What, you think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering of enjoying the stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the bricks. I'm gonna cast an evil terror curse. Buggity wuggity woo, you're cursed! Hee hee hee, enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserve. You wanna hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? And listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, it turn into a paper airplane. Hee <laughs> hee, trembling yet. Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Yeah, that actually helps. So, yeah. Yeah. Wee hee hee, oh, it can't help but chortle. You're doomed! 
This course is pretty rough, I guess, so I suppose I owe you explain it. So if pretty much we go on an airplane panel, then we press Y and then we turn it into a liquid. It's pretty cool, actually. And the worst part of this curse is that we have to tilt the controller stick to control ourselves! Oh no, oh no! Yes, I get it, it's terrible. Anyways, if we press B, we might return. Anyways. So yeah, thanks for the awesome curse, my boy. Um, so now that we have a curse, then we have the paper airplane trick, we can go over here using the paper airplane tactics. We can fly right into this door. Boom. And there it is. The thousand year door. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah. Oh, Mario Goombella, look at that! It's the thousand year door spoken of in the legends. I can't believe it's real. The so legends are all true. There it is, big as life. Come on, let's move closer. Yeah, it's a great idea. Let's move closer. So yeah, there's a bunch of other stuff. Like over here, we have like this stuff up here that we can't get to. And I guess let's save. Because, unfortunately, this is the end of this episode. So next episode, we're gonna go up to the thousand year door and see what happens see you guys then and remember to subscribe to flubby duck and like all of Pachi plays videos bye